this is Ron come back again with another video on how we can mesh these APs. Many people have been asking me about the way how we could mesh these APs of Luigi. So we are going to move step by step waiting a mobile phone to mesh these product if these APs. If they are five or ten, you just mesh them like that. So these are the equipments we are going to use in this video. This is the internet service provider which we are going to use for today to provide internet and to do the meshing and this this is a logi 6262 g ap and this logi 6262 g then in this video we are going to use a phone for configuring and the power adapters for the logi since it's using 50 50 volts and above so we have to use the power adapters which would power that ap and work very well okay so we are going to do step by step on how we can configure these APs so that you can know how to do it when you're setting up and it becomes easier for you to set up this hotspot business or to extend internet to larger coverage. So let's first uh, connect the cables to provide internet to one of the APs. connect the cables let's use this as the master ap which will be providing internet to this ap since it's that one let's uh, try to provide it with internet when you're doing when you're doing the meshing that means one ap it's the one which you're going to provide with internet only one then another ap should be free so that you can do it so to do it that very well Let's maybe we first put this AP, which will be the repeater, like getting internet from another AP. We remove power from it so that it doesn't confuse us and we'll download the app for making all the stuff. As I've told you, we have to remove this from power so that it doesn't confuse us. One will stay, Provide. we'll keep on providing internet and power as you see this LAN port is showing yellow light when it's powered and working very well for more videos on how you could do the setup and all the stuff you can check out on this video on this website on this channel for more tech videos to be helped out how to configure this logi ap all other stuff so let's get back to the phone so that we do the meshing and leaking and uh, all the stuff you first download the luigi ap if you don't know how to download it you check out on another video on how we can download that this is the luigi ap app which we are using So let's add a project first and foremost. You click here. Then we have to connect to Luigi AP. You connect. Here they are asking us to click and uh, get internet from this Luigi. So you click on that Luigi. You wait for it to provide internet. Guys, don't forget to like and share this video for more people to get content always connect they are saying it's connected without internet that means the cable is not stable so now after connecting it to wi-fi then you click on continue we go back now to the app dialect you continue then you wait for a second. Now here they want the device to give it a password. Let's just uh, put maybe Roncom since it's for Roncom. Then we click continue. You have to wait for it until it keeps like it's done detecting that AP if it's 
well and powered into power this is the ap it's already now shown like it's getting internet and connected to power so what we do now we are going to continue on on the configurations we start configurations here we give it an ssid let's just call it loncom since we are doing a test we give it a password as runcom as well the project still it's runcom let's save then another video will show you how to do all this using a web like using a pc to do all this setup So now it's done. Let's click OK. You wait for it to synchronize and all the stuff with the estimated things until it's done. Now it has already connected. What you do, you click on here. Like we have copied the password of the Wi Fi. They want us to go to the Logi. You see the name, the SSID has now changed. Let's click on it. We put the other password which has been copied. We paste, then we click connect. See, now it's connected. After being connected, what you do now, let's power this Luigi, another Luigi, so that we can uh, configure it. As I've told you, we have to provide it with only power without internet when we are configuring it. See, now it's powering on. We wait for it to show the yellow color of the Wi-Fi, then we do the need for to add it to the system. You have to be patient until it powers on well. Then the other one, you have to make sure it's still receiving power and internet at the same time, not going off. Since it's the master AP of this, we'll be providing internet to this at the same time. Like when you're installing it, you have to put an interval of 100 meters. You have to put an interval of 100 meters from one AP to another without using cable. Still, you can access internet very well. You have to make sure that is like yeah, under consideration if you go up beyond that that means it will not receive internet very well to how it should be providing internet from one ap to another and extending it to larger coverage so let's proceed into a meshing thing let's click next this is the AP which has been connected. So now what we are going to do, we can select the scenario where that internet is going to be installed. We are going to put uh, like we select like a home or a VRAM. Then we click OK. Since like if you like you're installing this internet like on a street, on a page like outside not indoor you can select any scenario which you want of your preference then here we go to basic we first go to the wi-fi we want to remove the restriction of the password so that it doesn't ask password whenever you connect to it so this is how you can do it for those who never knew how to remove the password of a luigi access point Without using Wi-Fi, this is how you can do it. After clicking on the Wi-Fi basic setting or configurations, you see it's already showing the Wi-Fi. And here you can check it out on the both radios, 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz. Then you go to the security. Encryption mode, you leave the encryption mode not selected. Then the type, when you are selecting, it also gives the latest version of the security encryption. This is the WPA3. 
it's the better option which we are using so far not to have issues with your internet and the latest one so let's go to the encryption then we select don't encrypt that means all the encryptions they are open you can access internet very fast without having any password or restrictions when you're doing this then we click on save to save the changes which you have made in the configurations you click ok now after that let's go to the advanced then we look for the mesh app ap here this means we are going to link these two aps from this ap to this and it gets internet like this acts like a bridge all a repeater all internet extender from one ap to another without using any cable this method helps us to extend internet to larger coverage with a long distance without using cables or the kind of cabling like sometimes does it's hectic but this luigi helps us do all that stuff with ease so let's go on with the meshing so after scrolling up you go to advanced then you look for where there is epi mesh this is where we can mesh this ap already this ap is already added to the system sometimes they are saying the old version capability don't don't ever update like uh, your ap if you're not sure about the power backup because you may update it and power goes off that means you lose your ap yet you have invested a lot of money in it so let's go scan to add a mesh ap here the mesh link can be established between ray wireless devices exclude home routers roji is having uh, those routers like for the internet provider the service provider they normally use but roji is using those routers if you're meshing sometimes doesn't scan those routers which are not capable of being meshed so now this ap is being added after being scanned and detected as you can see AP, APs are detected. Please enter the project management password to verify the device that has been configured before. So here we click on this box on the right hand side. Then you click mesh. Here, this means the AP, this AP will give all the configurations to this AP to be on the latest version, not to have password, even the SSID the encryptions all are disabled. So that means it can receive internet and send it to this, even the settings, everything, even though you do formatting, if you format this in a mesh mode, that means you'll be formatting this using this ROG app. So you have to keep knowing that whenever you do anything on one AP, this master AP will happen even on the sub connector of this AP. As I had told you, don't dare to mesh when this AP is like getting internet. You see, it's not getting internet and it's showing can be detected very well. Very well. So, and another thing, don't mesh this AP if they are far apart from one another. You have to make sure they are on one press, then you mesh them. That's when the mesh technology can work very well when they are near to each other, like within 10 meters, not beyond that. Then after meshing them there, you can install it above even uh, like uh, up to 100 meters, no worries. Just be patient. We wait until it's like done with meshing and synchronizing all the details, the SSIDs, the password, the encryptions and all the stuff. As you see, it has been meshed with this stick that means everything will be changing and putting the name which we have made to configure this ap without having any issue see it's already meshed now we see like we can uh, view more for other stuff you see even this ap on the app they show it's already listed and working perfectly you see mesh meshed excellent that means you can do anything you want 
if you want to add another ap of any preference you would be having this allows you to add another ap one by one if you would like to guys please try to subscribe follow this channel for more videos to be helped out if you're having any issue with these gadgets we can help you in networking and all the stuff so now after meshing it it's now meshed you have to check if the ap is already added to the system we can even check the topology to check and see if the ap is already on the system leaking from one another and getting internet you see all the APs are linked to one another. This is the master AP providing internet to the other one. So that's it, guys. If you have been looking for the way how you could mesh these APs, we have helped you out. Please like, follow, and share this video for more.